can you just explain how this is different than say that the student loan forgiveness plan that ultimately didn't come to fruition? Sure. So last year, President Biden proposed uh, forgiving up to $20,000 in student debt. Um, that plan was struck down by the Supreme Court earlier this summer, and we disagree with that decision, um, but we're going to move forward. And we're looking at other paths to loan forgiveness. We found so far 3.4 million people who are eligible for loan forgiveness because they're public servants, because they've been in repayment for a long time. And we're taking a look at the rules for all of our programs and seeing uh, who else we can help. And the president has asked us to help uh, as many people as possible and to move as quickly as possible. So that's what we're doing. Um, in the meantime, we've created a, a new way for people to repay their student loans. It's called the SAVE plan. And it is the most affordable student loan repayment plan ever. Uh, the SAVE plan is uh, called an income driven plan because your monthly payments are based on a sliding scale uh, based upon your income. So if you earn less than about $15 an hour or more, if you have a family, uh, you don't have to pay anything. And that's because we think student loans shouldn't come before the basic necessities. And then above that level, you pay uh, a small share of your income. One of the questions I had about that when um, one of our staff members brought it up and they're just trying to pay off you know, student loans from community college was, will it continue to accumulate interest during that time or will it will where will there be a scenario where maybe they'll accumulate more interest because they're not making payments that are as big are, are you concerned at all about people getting even more kind of underwater with their student loan debts for for lack of a better term no that's a big change in the safe plan and that's something we've seen in some of our other um attempts to help people, we lower monthly payments, but the result is it doesn't cover interest and the loans continue to grow and grow over time. There are a lot of people who owe more than they borrowed on their student loans. So we're ending that in the save plan. If you are making your monthly payments, you're no longer gonna see any interest accumulating. Your loan won't get any bigger. Okay. Um, and, you know, I don't know, along the, those same lines, you know, common criticism that we heard too with the student loan forgiveness plan, was that it wasn't fair to people who maybe already paid off their loans or people who never had any loans to begin with for all kinds of reasons. Um, is this something that will be somehow increasing an extra burden on taxpayers who maybe don't have student loan debt? Well, look, student debt is something very different than it was 10 or 20 years ago or when I went to school. You know, young people are struggling to buy a home, to start a family, start a business to save for their own children's retirement. And so this is not just an issue for 43 million Americans with student loan debt. It's an issue for their families. Um, it's an issue for their communities. It's holding down the economy as a whole. And I'm worried it's frightening young people who don't want to go to college. College enrollment is down as well. And that's not good for our um, country to have fewer people going to college. So we really have to be aggressive in tackling the student debt problem. And uh, one of my questions about this too, it seems like, you now obviously you're gonna have states like California where they're gonna have large numbers of people enrolled in the program because there's just a lot of people in places like California and Texas. It, but it does still, even based on population, it does still seem uneven across the country where people have enrolled and they have. And I, I don't see any rhyme or reason to it necessarily demographically, but I'm sort of curious what, in addition to doing these kind of um, these kinds of interviews, what else you're doing to to reach people to let them know that this program is available? Yeah, so the Save Plan is still very new. It's only been around a few weeks, so we're really excited that we have four million people enrolled nationally. In Nebraska, we have about twenty two thousand. You know, that said, there's still a lot of people out there um, who we can help. So we're emailing them, we're texting them. Um, we're going to keep doing that. Um, we're launching a partnership with grassroots groups called Save on Student Debt. They're going to be helping us get the word out. Um, and, you know, everywhere I go, I ask for help in making sure that borrowers know we have affordable repayment options. Uh, we have loan forgiveness programs like public service loan forgiveness, because there's a lot of people out there who are not taking advantage of the full benefits that come with a federal student loan. Um, 